Yo, what's going on, gangs? Darrell Hoshin Photography. I'm back here with another video for you guys. Uh, when I was in Las Vegas uh, for WPPI 2019, I, I did a few shoots when I was out there. Something told me when I was packing to bring this, my ND filter. This is a Singray uh, variable ND filter. I believe it's two to eight stops. And what's cool about this, is it acts like sunglasses for your lens. And I can turn it. I don't know if you can see it getting darker and lighter and darker again. Um, cuts down a lot of the light. So basically what people use it for, if they want to do you know, longer exposures in the daytime. But for portraits, we use it as another way to kill the ambient light. Um, high speed sync being the other way, which I love using high speed sync. But um, something told me to bring this. And high speed sync was not working for me. Uh, when I was out there. I like shooting at wide apertures. So I was at 1.8, um, I was at 1 8,000th of a second, so I was maxed out, can't go any faster. I was at ISO 100, and yeah, I could have went down to ISO 50, but it wasn't gonna make that big of a deal. It was still far too bright. So thankfully I had my good old ND filter. I popped this on and it saved the day. I was able to get the looks that I wanted. Without this, I wouldn't have been able to gotten those looks. Um, I did get a couple shots without the ND filter so that you can see what I'm talking about. And then I have shots with the ND filter. Um, I think I even did a shot with the ND filter and no flash, just to give you guys an example. But um, yeah, this bad boy came in handy. This here is a 77 uh, millimeter uh, filter. So, your lens has to be 77 millimeters. My 85 1.8 Sony is actually 67 millimeters, but I have the step up ring. So I put the step up ring, which is fit for 67 mil, and I put that on my lens. And then I put the, le uh, the filter on top of the step up ring. So I was able to use my 77 millimeter filter on a 67 millimeter uh, lens. However, I can't use this on say an 82 millimeter filter because the lens is too big for this. So there is some restrictions using an ND filter. You're very restricted with the lenses you could use. And that's where high speed sync um, is better because you could use it with any lens. Um, but in this case, high speed sync was not working out for me, but uh, this bad boy came in handy. Um, it's also great if you wanna do natural light. If you want to shoot wide open and it's a really bright day and Las Vegas sun was really bright, um, I was able to shoot at 1.8 as I desired and I still was able to get the look that I wanted. So definitely um, don't write off the ND filter, man. The ND filter is pretty dope. I, I, I like using it. It does cast a little bit of a color, color shift. Uh, so when I shoot at like 5200 Kelvins, then in post, I have to adjust it to about 4,800. But I mean, you shoot raw, you're good. You don't gotta worry about that. So let's get into this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And um, thanks for watching, guys.